Okay. First of all, I'd like to say some some basic facts of Islam in China. First, the history of Islam. And uh, first, first one, the history of Islam in China. Uh, the first history of of Islam in China is more than one thousand years. The scholars have different opinions about that. Some of them, uh, believe the history should be as long as four. Just uh, just uh, after the Hijra, but some of them think that that's after the eighth century, early eighth century. So uh, whatever the the history should be longer than one thousand years. We also can find some proof in China now. Yeah, that's a masjid Ashkab in in Quanzhou in the south part of China. It was built in in eleventh century. It was still there. If you you can visit Quanzhou today, you you will find it. It's in the it's in the city. It's in the downtown area of, of the city, and uh, that's one <coughs> part of the mosque. There are also another. Part. They also rebuilt another part here on the other side of the uh, of, of this mosque because this mosque was destroyed two hundred years ago by a very strong uh, earthquake. So the the wall are still there, but the inside those buildings were destroyed. Now. Uh, they, they are building a, a, a new mosques here, maybe with the financial support from Saudi Arabia or somewhere. Uh, that's also in Quanzhou. That's that's the that's the Muslims of two saints in, in Quanzhou. It was said Prophet Muhammad sent four of his companions to China. Four of them were buried here. In Gansu and in Yangzhou, you also can find. Such Muslims in those cities. Actually, we were found more than four uh, Muslims uh, in, in China. Maybe some of them are, are real ones. Some of uh, are just the Muslims, maybe in, in in Ming Dynasty or the Yuan Dynasty. But with the with time goes by, so some Muslims believe they are saints in our history. So there's some mis misleading or the second one I want to talk is about the, the demography of Chinese Muslim population. Uh, according to the censor in 2000, 2000 uh, we have uh, there are 20, there are 20 million Muslim population in China but the, 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 the latest data is, uh, we, we can get it from the Islamic Association of China. That's the that's the biggest organization of China. So according to the data from this association, there are about uh, 23 million Muslims in China today. This is about the ethnic groups of, of Chinese Muslims. Uh, I want to explain, uh, maybe it's a very key point between the Islam in China, maybe, and the Islam in other part of the world. So in China, the ethnicity and the <coughs> religious believers are, has a very close bond. So most of the, <coughs> most of Chinese Muslims belong to these 10 ethnic groups. There are also a very few high Muslims today, but not so much. So in China, how to, how to, how to recognize a Muslim from another people, you, they also ask you to show your ID card because your ethnicity was is written on your ID card. So they will say if you belong to these ten ten ethnic groups, so you 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 would be admitted legally, officially. You are Muslim, but if you are not belong to these ten uh, ten ethnic groups. Maybe sometimes no, somebody will not admit you. You are he recognize you as a Muslim. So. Some Muslims also recognize a, a Muslim. You are not a Muslim or not by by your by your ethnicity. So then I want to talk the sex with the Chinese uh, Islam. Most of Chinese Muslims are Sunni, but they are distinguished as Qadim. That's the old sect. Ikhwani. That's the, that means the new new sect. It appeared uh, in the uh, in the after. It should be the 19th century after the Wahhabi movement in Saudi Arabia. Some Chinese uh, Hajj went to uh, went to Saudi Arabia, so they they 
they took those new information of the religion back.